Hello, YouTube. My name is Jeff. Welcome to the channel. I just bought a new Intel Nook that came with Windows 11 pre-installed. So in this video, I'm gonna take advantage of that and I'm gonna show you how to install Home Assistant on Windows 11. This video is an update to a previous video which covered how to install Home Assistant on Windows 10. Stay tuned until the end for some giveaway info and for the names of the winners for the redraw. Let's get into it though. The first things you'll need to do are to download and install VirtualBox and to download the VDI disk file for Home Assistant. Links for both of those will be in the description below. Install VirtualBox, just accept all the defaults. Then extract the VDI zip file to the location that you wanna run Home Assistant from. I'm just gonna leave it here in the downloads folder since this is just a demo for you guys, but I definitely recommend putting it somewhere else if you're planning to use this for a while. If you're just taking Home Assistant for a test drive, then the downloads folder is fine. Then in VirtualBox, click New, then click Expert Mode and give the VM a name. For type, choose Other Linux 64-bit. Under Hardware, check the box to enable EFI Assign two virtual CPUs and 2048 megabytes of RAM. Under hard disk, click use an existing virtual hard disk file. Then click the little folder, then click add and browse to the location of the VDI file you just downloaded. Click choose, then click finish. Next, Make sure the new VM is highlighted on the left panel and click the settings gear. Under network, change attached to from NAT to bridged adapter. Under audio, change to Intel HD audio, then click OK and start the VM. Once the VM finishes starting, you'll need to make note of this IP address. That's how we connect to Home Assistant to configure it. Open a browser, enter that IP, followed by colon 8123. Wait for Home Assistant to finish configuring on the back end. While you wait, you can play with the little shapes on the screen if you're bored. This process took about two minutes and 10 seconds here for this demo. Once it finishes, enter your name, make up a username and password, then click Create Account. Name your Home Assistant install. I'm just gonna leave this one called Home. Then set your location. Zoom in and really put the pin on your house. This will be important later since this defines the home zone so that Home Assistant knows if you're home or not. I've already made some videos about different automations based on location, so be sure to check those out for more info. Set your country, language, and time zone. I'm gonna skip elevation. I'm not even sure why it's even there, to be honest. I'm gonna to change to imperial units, set the currency to US dollars, and click next. I'm gonna allow all the telemetry information to help improve Home Assistant and click Next. Right away, Home Assistant shows me all the stuff on my network that it automatically discovered that it can integrate with. Some of these things I've already covered on this channel and others will be coming up in future videos, so be sure to subscribe to see how to set them all up. Click Finish and it will automatically log you in and drop you at the overview page. The first thing I'm gonna do is change to dark mode. Then we'll just take a quick look at the integrations page. Here are the integrations for all the things it found automatically on my network. As you leave it running, it will automatically discover more devices and they'll show up in here. Not everything is able to be auto discovered, however, so be prepared for some manual work. We'll cover more of those in future videos. That's it. Your Home Assistant server is up and running. Check the description for a link to my video on the seven must do things after initial setup. Now, if you found this video helpful or if you like my DIY haircut, 
or you think my t-shirts are funny, or if you're just a really nice person that wants to help support the channel at no cost to you, please go ahead and flick that like button for me. That tells the algorithm that this video didn't suck and that it should be shown to more people. Thank you for your support. Now, for the giveaway stuff. As I mentioned previously, I was gonna redraw if I didn't hear from the previous winners. I did redraw, and the winner of the 500 subscriber prize, an Amazon Fire 10 tablet is... I am Mike underscore 20. The new winner of the 750 subscriber prize is... Mr. Roma 70. Please leave your email address in the comments or reach out to me at fasthowtochannel at gmail.com so that I can get these shipped out to you guys. Again, the drawing is open to residents of the continental United States. If I don't hear from one of the winners or if they're outside the continental US, then I'll redraw one more time. There's also one more drawing though to celebrate 1000 subscribers. We're almost there. Now, I'm going to draw the name right when the channel reaches a thousand subscribers and then I'll announce it in the next video I release once we reach that milestone. As I'm recording this, the channel is at 969 subscribers. What am I giving away? That's a surprise, but it'll be kick ass and I know you'll want it. To be eligible, you need to live in the continent of the United States, you need to like this video, and you need to be subscribed to the channel. You want to be notified if you win, right, when the video comes out? Then you need to go and leave a comment on the first video on this channel about how to install Home Assistant on Windows 10. I will randomly pick the winner from the comments on that video. In the next video, I'll show you how to install Home Assistant and Home Assistant OS onto an Intel Nook. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe and ring the little bell so that you get notified as soon as it's published. That install will begin a series of videos that will be of me reconfiguring all my integrations so that I can start with a clean slate. I'll make a video about each one as I go. Things like MyQ garage door opener, the Honeywell T9 smart thermostat, Sonoff Zigbee stick, Ubiquiti Dream Machine Pro, Unify Protect, Blue Iris, and many, many more. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you found the video entertaining and I hope it helped you on your smart home journey. Until next time, Go automate something, will ya?